All right, let's talk a little bit about corporate types of PowerPoint templates. Okay, and I've got a freebie here for you. And the thing with a lot of these styles of templates is I call them more PowerPointy. <laughs> They're more geared for corporations. And what you can do is you can find lots of these kinds of things on sites like graphicriver.net and some of these kinds of collections. But this style of templates, it basically consists of a whole bunch of different slide decks in different categories. So what you get is all of these 40 categories. Each one of these is a slide deck and it has certain kinds of specific content. So let's say you're creating a presentation from scratch and you want to use some good design, some well-designed templates, and you need like a, well, I want an opener slide, I want an about us slide, and I want, you know, a timeline slide. So you kind of pick and choose the type of content that you want open up the slide deck that has that kind of catalog of slides and content and copy paste. So you can use this to create a lot of different kinds of presentations, you know, not just videos or promotions, but you know, if you're creating a slide deck for a webinar, this kind of template is probably more applicable than a lot of the fancy schmancy, you know, glitching, throbbing, <laughs> whirling, twirling, spinning slide decks that are in a lot of advanced templates. So sometimes you just want you a good old fashioned, nice looking PowerPoint template. And that's kind of what these types of slide decks get you. So I got a freebie for you here. Let me put a link to that in the chat box. You can check out all of the Max slides look at them, pick them up perhaps. Let me grab a link to the free template here and I'm going to open that up and just walk through a couple of quick things for you for these kinds of templates in general. Right? So basically the freebie that I got for you is one of those category slide decks and I chose the one that was called the creative content because well you know it's kind of nice and creative. In the slide deck there are 25 slides right so there's a nice selection and one of the tips that I'll give you here is you can kind of scroll through and look at all the different slides here but for a deck like this where I'm essentially looking at stuff and trying to pick one that I might want to use here's a little tip for you let's go to view and let's go to the slide sorter view Right? What that does is it gives me more of a oh side-by-side, bird's-eye view kind of a thing for all of the different slides. And it's a little easier to visualize and find something that might catch my eye as opposed to, you know, the slide pane ribbon over there. And also, while I'm here, you can also do things like preview any animation. Just click on the little star and we'll see what that does. Uh, let's see, so I can pick and choose. Let's grab this one. And the way you would use these kinds of slides is, again, open up the appropriate slide decks or maybe just decide that, you know, this is one that I want. You right click, copy, you go to your slide deck that you're going to customize and here I have just a blank one and I'm going to right click and very importantly I want to keep source formatting right so that's going to keep all the source formatting and stuff like that so to kind of work on this certainly it's a much simpler slide than a lot of the complex ones so modifying things like text and you know, background colors and all that good stuff is no big deal. But let's go ahead and click on something, go to picture format or whatever format tab for whatever object you pick and open up the selection pane. And for these slides, they're pretty well designed. So these have picture placeholders. Let's hide all. Let's turn these guys on. Probably going to want to modify these pictures. 
one of the nice things here is that these are all at the top. Okay, so all I have to do here is click on the picture, delete, grab me a new picture, insert, and since this is an odd shape, I'm also going to go in and to crop and crop to fill, right? So here, I'll make me an adjustment. Click crop and repeat that process for the other two slides. Okay, let's show all and basically it's just going to kind of work. Right, so as you can see, a little cleaner, a little simpler for a presentation. Gosh, I'm probably going to make these text boxes a lot bigger. Now, the other thing that you could use a, a template like this for is to create like a report. Okay, in a case like that, what I might do is export this or save as. And instead of saving it as a PowerPoint presentation, I can save it as a PDF. Right, so there's that interesting option. And I would have a very nice looking document, wouldn't I? Right, so that's a case where maybe I don't care if the text is way too small. Right, let's uh, look at another slide. Let's open up the selection pane. Again, all the picture placeholders are at the top. Now, they aren't all that way, so in some slides you will have to, you know, use our normal placeholder replacement techniques. You know, remember that this is on the bottom layer and swap it out that way. Let's do this because this is fun. So another thing, as we look at these slides, you notice that there's all these nice looking things and they use picture placeholders which tells us what? That these are slide layouts. So I'm going to go to view and let's go look at the slide master. When we do that, what you'll see is that you get with these all these cool layouts, right? That you can use to create these interesting slides, you know, from scratch if you want. And when we copied this slide over to this presentation, to my blank presentation, let's right click, look at layouts. Guess what? For my new presentation, I now have all these different layouts. Right? So let's just try this. Let's add us a new slide. Let's right click and let's pick a layout. I don't even know what this is going to look like, but let's give it a shot. Right? So here we got this. Let's click, add a picture. Insert it, crop to fill, crop, boom, instant awesomeness. Of course, then you format your background, maybe copy paste some text, all that good stuff. And all of a sudden, you got yourself a whole little library of yummy visual goodness, <laughs> right? So those are a couple of the, the nice advantages there. Uh, they're well designed, lots of great awesome layouts, not too heavy on the animation, right? And uh, you get yourself just a, what's the technical term? Uh, oh yeah, a buttload, <laughs> a buttload of really interesting things that you don't have to create. I love swiping stuff, right? In a good way. <laughs> Any questions on that? I think that's all I have. Is that kind of useful for everybody? Do you guys have a good time? All right, with that being said, I will bid everyone adieu and we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming.